guys, it's Elite Kicks here. Um, if you guys have not seen my sneakers app video, check it out. Awesome tips. I hit on the off-white twos. I hit on the uh, dunk restock. It's in my video section. Check it out. Five awesome tips. I'm probably going to be updating that in December with you tips. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys this video about the Flex app. Let's check it out. Let's You've heard the Flex feedback, so we're changing the way we do things. Online inventory is now available for launch reservation. We have one goal: more winners. We built a system for you, giving you a better chance to secure the latest drops. It's simple: enter, select, win, and have the latest releases delivered right to your door. Earn head starts to improve your chances even more. We continue to be dedicated to creating a fair environment to ensure more wins for everyone. So that's what Flex said, right? So basically the Flex stores have came out with a new system where you can do store pickup. You can also have them ship to you. You can pick both options, but you can only win on one of the options. That That's the plan. Um, it still doesn't answer the question. This is what I want to dig to a little bit in this video. And I've got sort of what's up on Kids Foot Locker. Um, just scrolling through it, just showing you guys what I'm, what I'm taking a look at to get my information. I'm going to give you guys some tips on it, some information that I've gleaned. And really how Flex is operating these days. Because it's much different than what it was last year, beginning of this year. So, what is Flex doing? So the way Flex does their releases, it's it's effectively a tiered system, if that makes sense. The best way to understand that is if you get, let's say Flex, let's say your local full order gets 50 pairs, okay? There's a low tier, there's a medium tier, and there's a high tier. Now, what does that mean? That means your Flex lifetime points are either gonna fall in the low tier, the medium tier, or the high tier. What Flex is doing is the folks that fall in the medium tier they get a bulk of the stock. That's why we're seeing folks who've got 300,000, 400, 500, probably up to a million, maybe even 1.2, hitting a lot. And it, it, the thing is, it just depends on what region you are to determine whether you're low, medium, or high. You could be in the Chicago region and you could have 1.5. That could be considered medium. You could have two, it could be medium. Um, alternatively, you could have 10 million and that would obviously be the high rate. That would obviously be the high in Chicago. I know here where I'm located, I have three different accounts. I have one that's on the low tier, I have one that's on the medium tier, and I have one that's on the high tier. And very clearly, the one that's on the high tier does not hit as often as it as it used to in the past. The medium tier one is consistently hitting, and I created the third account to make sure that I would be able to, you know, consistently hit. So what are we talking about here? So what we're talking about here is this tiered system. Uh, understand that. So now you guys need to know where you need to fall. You guys got to do some research. You got to do some legwork, figure out where you fall. Okay. And I want to push out some tips too, guys. So that that's the other thing is that's the new algorithm. So it's no longer, if you have the most points, you win. Okay. So that means is buying the most does not always mean winning. What you need to understand is, is that Flex is trying to stop giving all their W's to resellers because resellers were the ones that were legitimately going in every single day and purchasing anything and everything they could and then always constantly hitting the hype releases. So your account needs to resemble a normal functioning um, individual who purchases shoes. Like maybe you're going in there once a week to buy sneakers. Maybe you're going in there once every two weeks uh, to, to get a pair of socks or something like that. But if you're going in there every single day to purchase a pair of sneakers, your account is less likely to hit. How do I know that? My top dog account is 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 getting that, is feeling that effect right now. I was going in there pretty frequently, purchasing on the Top Dog account, and you know, I was great during the summertime and even into the a little bit of the fall, but now doesn't hit at all. Even for the general releases, I usually get waitlisted um, because of the tiered system. What's happening is, is that the bulk of the release is going to that middle tier, and then the top tier is getting some, is getting some quantity, but just not sufficient for all the people at the top anymore. So that's, that's the primary tip here, guys. Do not go into your stores and purchase 
every single day. Uh, In-store purchases are important. So if you go online, you buy stuff fine, but if you purchase in-store and you have normal customer behavior, consumer behavior, that's what will help you win. Over the summer, there was a tip that came out that, oh, if you, if you buy close to the release, like if you show activity close to the release, um, you have a higher chance of actually hitting on um, the upcoming release. Now, I, I've tested that method. Um, it is actually, I don't wanna say it's 100% effective, um, but it is, it is effective. So if you've got a Saturday release, try to go in on a Wednesday, Thursday, pick up one or two things, you know, be like a normal consumer. And that's basically the, the top two tips that we're dealing with today, guys, is avoid the reseller behavior and that Flex is trying to reward the everyday customer. You have to think like an everyday customer now. So you're going there, find a pair of two shoes, try to also uh, correspond that purchase with, um, close to a release that you really want. So if you release, you know, if the breads are coming out, if the cool grays are coming out, uh, the fire red threes or the red thunder three, or red thunder fours, excuse me, coming out, try to go in on that Wednesday or Thursday, go in and buy something. Try this out because I tried it out and I was able to actually hit on my top dog account. But when I stopped purchasing stuff under my top dog account, not hitting anymore. The final tip guys is that now that you know that it's a tiered system, be strategic with what size you pick. So in the past, you know, the idea was go for the size with the most stock. Maybe you wanna go down that path. What I've done is I've tried to, with my big dog account, I've tried to switch up the sizes. Like I've tried size nine, you know, I sometimes get waitlisted on size nine. I know when I try size 10, I always lose. What that tells me is that there's too many of those mid-level accounts for me to hit with my big dog account. Now, interesting enough, when I go even bigger, 11 and 12, I've actually hit with my big dog account. To me, that shows, based on the tiered system, I have a higher likelihood chance of hitting with the bigger sizes. So be strategic with the size that you select, guys. Try to play around with it. Don't be afraid. If you're taking all these L's and you spend all this money at Flex, switch it up. You know, if Flex is gonna change up the game, we need to also change up our system with how we hit. So guys, that's that's the information I wanted to get out to you guys today. Uh, we're going to be chatting next week. Um, I hit on the Jordan 2 off-whites. I'm going to give you guys an in-hand review. I'm also going to talk a little bit about, you know, the holiday holds. Some shoes that I'm holding for the holidays to see the, the, the spike in, uh, in the price to see if I can move them during the holidays. Now... I don't want to be talking about the Lightning Force. I think every, anybody and everybody has talked about that shoe on the internet. I'm going to be talking to you about some other shoes that I'm holding that less people are talking about that I think could probably increase. So guys, just to recap, uh, Flex is operating on a tiered system. Um, the bulk of their stock is going to that middle tier. Um, you have to figure out what the lifetime points are in your area. And I know in my area, uh, the middle tier is probably somewhere between 300 to 1.5. Uh, and then after 1.5 year, the high tier, it's almost impossible to hit. Not impossible, but it's it's less significantly less likely to hit. So trick is stay in that middle tier. The other way, the other, the other factor that Flex looks at is they want to, you, you have to avoid reseller behavior. Don't go in there every single day. Space out the time that you're going in. Trust me, it will make a difference. They want to reward the everyday customer. They got a lot of feedback that the everyday customer was not able to get these releases. So they changed their algorithm to try to help out that everyday customer. Uh, those are the three big tips, guys. Um, this is Elite Kicks signing off. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. The channel is growing every single day. Uh, I respond to all the comments. Don't hesitate to reach out to me on uh, Instagram. I will respond to you. I'll try to talk, through, talk you through some of my tips that I have. And this is Elite Kick signing off, guys. Take care.